horse and the cart problem goes a bit like this. We've got a super intelligent, genetically modified horse that we've taught Newton's laws. And the horse says that if I pull on this cart, the cart is just going to pull back on me with an equal and opposite force. That's just Newton's third law. So no matter how hard I pull on this cart, I'm never going to move anywhere. So if we draw the forces here of everything that's happening, the horse is pulling on the cart. So if I draw that on the cart to represent the direction. So this is the force of the horse on the cart. And the cart is going to pull back on the horse with an equal and opposite force. So, so far, the horse's theory is correct. But if I look at what else is happening, I don't care about the y-directional forces at this stage. I'm only looking at x-direction. What else is happening? Well, the horse is pushing on the ground. So there is a force down here of the horse on the ground. And then there's also going to be a force here of the ground on the horse because that's the friction of the hoofs. If this wasn't equal and opposite to this, the horse would just slip on the spot. But in order for it to not slip, they have to be equal and opposite. But then if I look at the cart, I've also got the force of the cart on the ground. And then in the opposite direction, I've got the force of the ground on the cart. So this is the friction of the cart that's trying to oppose the horse. So these are all of my forces so far. The important thing here is to look at the system. And what we mean by system is everything that is affecting a certain thing. So Newton's first law says that an object at rest or in motion will remain at rest or in motion unless acted upon by an external force. And the external part is the crucial bit. What's happening here between these two forces is equal and opposite. And this is what the horse was focusing on. However, that's an internal force. That's only acting between these. It's not acting on the ground and the ground on the horse. So if I was to break it into the pieces that actually act on the horse and the cart and the ground, my system would look like this. So everything in this becomes my system. This is what's happening in the horse and cart's world. An important thing to know is that Yes, these are equal and opposite, but these are what we call internal forces. So remember Newton's first law says that an object at rest or at motion will remain at rest or at motion unless acted upon by an external force. So these internal forces are not affecting whether it moves or stays still. The only external forces that I need to consider are the ones that are acting on the system from something outside. So if I look at this, what is acting on these objects that's not part of those objects? Well, I would have the force of the ground on the horse, and I would have the force of the ground on the car. These would be my two external objects. So if I was to draw these, I would have the force of the ground on the horse, and in the opposite direction, I would have the force of the ground on the cart. These are the two that are acting on the system in some way. And they're an external force because they're coming from outside. It's the ground providing a force to the system. So if I look at these two clearly, and not just because I've drawn it that way, the force of the ground on the horse is much larger than the ground on the cart. And that's because the horse has much more friction under its hooves and the surface area than the tiny little cartwheel. The cartwheel is just rolling along very small in comparison to the hooves. So the friction pulling backwards against the cart is not going to be anywhere near as powerful as the force of the ground pushing back on the horse. And therefore the total result is going to end up in this direction and we will actually get motion. So it's all about looking at the system and identifying what forces act on what objects.
And that is the horse and cart problem. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk. Bye, have a beautiful time.